Hello, and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. I have a thing, bunch of things to unbox. So we're gonna start with this one. Now this one, I had no business buying, none. I couldn't resist. The style of bag I have one other version of, and I know I don't really enjoy wearing the style of bag, but it, the collector in me, I couldn't say no. So, <clears throat> Let me show you what I bought. This poor box has been through the ringer. Um, the post, this is in the middle of, this is December or December 10th, but you'll be seeing this probably around Janu middle of January. I'm working on a bunch of videos and I'm trying to um, get a little bit ahead. So there's a, I don't know what's in there. Oh, I do know what's in there. Okay, so I finally had to get this because I'd seen it and seen it, seen it. I try not to do this, but I fall in love with colors. And when I find a color that I just love and adore and cannot let go of and it's current, I just buy it because coach is seasonal. So they're not gonna, if they come out with this, it's a different season, it's a different style, it's a different, maybe even different shade. This is the Kit Bag by Coach. I do not enjoy wearing this bag too much, but I love this color. This means the only thing that came out that I don't have in this is like the soft, there's a soft tabby, and there is a, and I keep looking at it, the Cassie 19, and I really don't like the Cassie 19. Like, I like this more than the Cassie 19. So this bag is in the faded blue color that came out in December 23. It has the a strap. And what made me get this finally was that this was a, a buy two items um, for a super awesome price, which I don't remember. She has a card in here. Let's take a look. Um, now, I've bought a few things from this lady before. She's in my Facebook group. And um, I bought a bunch of my vintage coach, vintage Dooney, excuse me, from her. Um, and it says, thank you, Merry Christmas, Karen. And her name is Karen. She's very sweet. And... Um, this is what made me get that because I have so many bags in this color. I didn't have this and I didn't see this and I missed it. I'm sorry for the very loud paper sound, but oh, and by the way, I'm in the Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette from Christmas and I have, I put some glitter stuff on and I will never do that again because it's everywhere. And then a nice, a very awesome Marc Jacobs lip gloss. They don't make anymore. I wish they did. And uh, Laura Geller foundation. Like I'm using, uh, I know y'all are, I'm trying, I'm trying to wear more cosmetics uh, since I've bought so many this holiday season. And I'm going to try to keep this up. Let's see how often I wear makeup on film um, or in life. Let's put it in life. So this is what I really wanted. I mean, I wanted the bag, but if it was just the bag, I want to purchase it. It was the bag and this item. So this is a charm, and I don't have any T. Rose collection charms. So this is the faded blue, um, and you can see it really nicely here. Because I have so many faded blue items, I really wanted this, and it says, it doesn't say anything. So this originally retailed for $95, so this is a boutique item and she left all of the um, foam between the layers of roses um, this is beautiful so I bought both of these for I think hundred and twenty dollars with shipping and this by itself is over a hundred dollars normally um, so this is a an excellent buy now was it smart no should I have bought it no um, did I do it yeah um, sometimes uh, your heart sings, right? And she had posted several times and it finally went lower and lower and lower. And I just finally said, I have to get this. I just, I have to. And, um, I will, I, I still might even get the Cassie 19. I saw a lady selling one in the faded blue for a hundred dollars. And I was like, what? And if I had had the hundred dollars, I would have bought it. Cause that bag retails for higher than that. Um, but again, I don't actually like the Cassie 19. I like the Cassie. I like the original Cassie the most. And I'm, I'm grumpy that they made it even smaller because I thought it was small enough. So I have the Daytote 
in faded blue. I have this uh, this bag, the Sammy bag. Um, I'm missing one. I have another one. Do I have another one? I think I have another one. But I had the card case um, in this, and it's just it's just too pretty. I'm gonna put this right over here because this hole is not pretty, and we'll make that hole look nicer. I have a bunch of bags. Let's see if it stays. I have a bunch of bags back there, so it's kind of like. Eh. And she has all the packaging, which is really cool because I never keep packaging, especially for charms. Um, well, of course, all the charms I have, I've bought, I think, from the outlet. Is this the first one I've had one from the retail store? So let me open what is in this bag because I don't remember what I ordered. Oh, this is actually not what I ordered. This is a gift. This is a Christmas gift. I know it is because I only have one person that labels my name this way. Thank you, Lynn. You know who you are. Um, oh. What is that? Oh my goodness. Is this? Oh, these are for my pets. These are so cool. Uh, is there a card or something? No. But I hope. Yeah, these have to be for my. Yeah. He's the only person who does that, but normally they'll put like a little slip of paper in there. Um, so this is for Mr. Milo and Mr. Watson. And this one is skin to one fur dog toy. So I think this is the one squeak stuffing free. That's awesome. I Oh, you, okay. Yeah. You put water. That's what I thought. You put empty water bottles in this so that you can, your dogs can crinkle and crackle, but not, um, my, my dogs sometimes, they, they really enjoy stuffing, um, de-stuffing pets, toys, de-stuffing, they like de-stuffing toys, um, it's surgery time, they love toys, um, this is awesome, so this one is a cow with horns, I don't have an empty water bottle next to me, or I would put one in here, um, I'll have to find one in the other room, but, so they... How do they insert through the bottom and there's a velcro so you put a water bottle empty water bottle you want to take off the lid too because it's going to get crunched anyway just put the empty bottle in there and they'll crunch it and they love it they love it they absolutely love it and this one oh it's so cute i love sheets this is so awesome i have a giant dog he's out he just drank a bunch of water and he's going outside so when he comes back, I'll entice him with new toys. I have the best friends. Um, they love our pets. And we're always getting pet toys from them because our, our pets love pet toys. They like soft, fluffy things more than hard, chewy things. So things like this are awesome. He has a couple. He got a bunch from, I think, a year ago. We asked all our friends. It might have been two years ago now. I said, don't buy us gifts buy our dogs gifts, buy our dogs toys. They love them. We keep buying them. That's what we really need because they keep destroying them. Just buy us gifts for our dogs. And they did. And it was so much fun. We, they had so many toys. My housekeeper who comes with a month, once a month and she's a friend of ours. She's like, Jackie, we need to talk about the amount of dog toys you have in this house. I like, no. And for a while, every single time I went to a place to I had sold dog beds, I bought another dog bed. And and finally, my husband was like, "We don't need any more." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> or dog blankets, you know. I'm one of those moms. So this is a Mercari purchase, and I am very excited to open this. This is not what the label or the box says. This is a rescue bag. I got this for a bargain. And the bargain is because it needs to be rescued. It doesn't have the, it's missing straps, which is why it's also a bargain because these are not inexpensive bags. This is also a coach bag. So this is gonna be a coach video. I have to go look through all the paper. This is very well packaged. And she mailed this priority, and she's a really good seller because she was upset with the lack of priority in the priority shipping. She went to her post office and said, excuse me, 
why is this package not where it's supposed to be? I paid for priority. And they said, let me find it. So they escalated it. It wasn't lost. It was just not delivered. You know? So this is an almost, to me, most perfect bag ever. This is the Rogue 30, or the Rogue, the regular Rogue, the first Rogue, okay? So what's wrong with this bag? Why was this the bargain basement bag? Well, it doesn't have the shoulder straps. So these bags come with two shoulder straps and they hook on these rings right here, right? And this bag, is this is the Rogue, the, well, they call us now just the Rogue. And then there's the Rogue 25, a Rogue 20, there, there's a Rogue 17, a Rogue 39. But if you say Rogue, this is the Rogue, right? So this is, it has no tags, which I didn't need. Um, and the reason she was able to let this go, because it needs some TLC. So if you see here, there is some piping breakage right here. So right here where the handle is, probably what happened with this bag is somebody overloaded it, right? And they put too much, because it can carry a lot. And there's some wear. It's either, either it was overloaded or it was stored improperly because both sides are like this. They have broken piping. Um, and I am probably, I am probably going to spend some time and actually remove that. This is very interesting to see this because you can see here, get as close as I can, the two layers, the lining and the exterior of the um, leather just together. And normally, like on the edges, it's rolled and then stitched, but on the top, it's just edge painted. So I'm gonna, I have, it's interesting how much this broke. This is probably a first generation. Um, and this has Python detailing. Oh, that's interesting too. So also there's chipping um, on the handle, which again, I knew. Um, that's very interesting how this war, uh, well, Python in general is very delicate, so I would never put Python on handles. But this is this does feel like it has a coating on it to make sure that lip, the scales don't lift. This actually might just be... Now, I know she said it was a real snake, but this... No, it feels like real snake. You can actually see the seaming in the snake skin. There's a seam here and a seam here where they stitch the skin together. So let me open this up and show you the rest of it. So on, on the zipper, it says Coach 1941. So this is when they made these as part of the 1941 line, and now they're just part of, you know, the regular. They got rid of that special category, and now, now they're going out with just interesting. So I have a, a, an original Rogue. This um, top does not open as much as the other one I have does. Maybe it's just this generation and maybe they've done some so it kind of ah this is the other part they were showing me because of the zipper and this you see this this has piping coming off I honestly think what I'm going to do with this is not repaint this what I think I'm going to do with this is actually remove the edge coating because uh remove it and with the and like a, like this I just tore it off this you can it's a very plastically edge coat it's more like a rubber like a, a elastic like more like um latex um uh, some of the edge paint i use does it is not that um yes yeah, so i'm gonna get an exacto knife a really sharp one and i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna definitely take off all of the edge paint on this on this interior because of the way this zipper is in the friction and rubbing that's why this is coming off that's why this is not surviving i have another um, rogue so when i do this i'll do a reveal later when i finish the rehab on this but this is the beechwood color or uh, beach yeah beechwood and cream and there's some marks here there's the corners look fine um it just there's a little bit of fading right here but Honestly, this is just stored wrong, to be honest. And it is, you know, it's not beaten up from overuse. It just got used, like a bag does. And this is 1941 here, which the new ones won't have, I don't believe. 
and there should have, there should be an like embossed cow, oh, here it is, there's like a cow, there's a cow embossing right there that shows that it's a 1941, so these normally have super cool key clays, and it has um, a 1941 um, tag, which is the metal part on the tag, so the tags originally for Coach were just so people could feel and look at the leather. They were like samples and they just put coach and they put the tag on there so you could see the leather of the of the bag you're buying and then it became a thing and people collect them and but they do fall off. They do get lost. Now these ones you'll find them on the relove market all the time because people sell them because people do lose them and a lot of people want the whole set. They want I mean if you don't know this is a coach rogue, you don't know what this bag is without that tag, right? Because um, nothing on it says coach other than the very tiny print on the um, t on the zippers and I mean I know it's rogue because I know rogues you know so anyway um, I don't think this bag needs that much rehab to be honest um, I uh, there's some there's some friction wear here yeah so I think a lot of my this has a an edge a nice light edge coating to the piping here um, and there's some loss right here. And because of the contrasting color, it's a little bit more obvious. So people who like perfect, this is not your bag. Um, this is a pebbled leather. I actually prefer both of my rogues like this are pebbled. And then I have a um, smooth leather shoulder bag. They only did that for one year for the rogue. And I love, that's my favorite, favorite rogue. Will never be find a, found again. But anyway, I love this bag. I will give you updates. I will show you what I do to it in um, a couple weeks. This is January, so I'm going to spend some time. I'm trying to do some. I don't, I honestly don't think I'm going to, um, I don't mind the raw edge. So I'm, I really am going to take out most, take off most of this edge coat and see what it looks like and see if I like it that way. And if I don't, I'll find something else. But I think this is awesome. And I need to find some aftermarket shoulder straps um, because not everybody wants to just carry their bag like this and um, thank you for watching my video have a great day bye